a young NFL star returning to his Savannah roots. Yeah, over the weekend, Nolan Smith hosted his annual youth football camp where he got to go one-on-one -on -one with some future journalists from the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club, as you're about to see in the new Southern Roots. How you doing, Dinola? How you doing, Big Ball? I'm good. With a microphone in hand and a question or two on their minds, a group of budding young journalists took to the field and went one-on-one -on -one with Nolan Smith of the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, it was your rookie year. How you, uh, what did you learn throughout, you know, that year? Uh, my whole rookie year, I learned a lot, man. It's just learning to love football again and learning that it's just it's still the same football you play as a kid, NFL or college, collegiate level. And I just had a good time and just flying around, and I learned a whole lot. You know, it's kind of like your freshman year. What drives you to keep working hard after the fact that you already made it to the league? Man, what drives me to keep working hard? Just y'all, man. The city of Savannah watching for me. The city of Savannah cheering for me. These kids from the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club learning the basics of news and sports reporting. I had the honor and pleasure to spend some time with the group to help prepare them to tackle the fourth annual Pups Day Out football camp at Daffin Park. I want to be able to give back to the kids and give back to y'all because y'all are the future. Thanks to the City of Savannah's Arts Council, these teens getting hands-on experiences and exciting opportunities within the broadcast arena. And how about this? This assignment, putting the kids face-to-face -face with someone who was once in their shoes. Nolan Smith, a two-time national champ for the Georgia Bulldogs and a first-round draft pick of the Eagles. Well, he attended the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club while growing up right here in Savannah. I was in a mentoring sessions, mentoring program, and just every day, I went there every day like a normal kid you won't believe I got dropped off by the bus from Otis well what y'all call Otis Brock I call Bato that used to be the old Bato in West Savannah so man that's it uh, that's everything I gotta ask you oh, man, yeah. and to hear more from Nolan Smith and what his pups day out camp means to him head over to our website wjcl.com looks like you got people coming for your job it's a, it's a done deal I'm retiring early <laughs>